If you are in bed with sin, entertaining sin or giving license to sin, that sin is your friend, not your enemy. Ephesians 5, 11 through 14. If sin is still your friend, there can be no deliverance. God will deliver us from our enemies. So you must recognize sin as the enemy and the father of lies as the enemy of your soul. It's Psalm 59, 1. When we treat sin as a pet, thinking that we can keep it contained or on a leash, it always backfires. It morphs into a wild animal that we think we can control when in fact it is controlling us. It attacks us. It attacks our families. It attacks our futures. It comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And it does. The sin that we willingly partner with is given legal right into our homes, into our families, to our children and our grandchildren, and on and on, until we renounce it in the name of Jesus. We repent of it, we ask forgiveness of it, and we turn away from it. The sins you don't cleanse become your family's inheritance. Deuteronomy 5, 9 through 10, take this to prayer.